What up, y'all? Welcome back to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. So, a part of the Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford aftermath, one of the most disgusting, dishonorable, weakest, everything you can think in the book. One of the worst things I done seen was how people, one of the things they say is, Earl Spence was never a good fighter. He was overrated. They also say that Derrick James should have never been trainer of the year. He one of the worst trainers. What is, what is he doing with Earl Spence and these different things or whatever, man? I'm talking about just disgusting behavior, man. <laughs> disgusting behavior. I mean, this, this, this is this, this is what I be talking about. These people can't wait to. These people are so soft and so scary. They don't never want you to come. They don't never want to come at you when you at your best or when you at the top. They want to wait till it's cool. To come at you or it's cool to talk down on you or whatever like people were never go on that mission they are never going on no solo missions no these dudes don't never go on no solo missions and I noticed this throughout life period like dudes was just soft to me bro like they are never going on no solo missions they always got to have somebody with them and just because you got a photo don't mean four people got to ride with you sometimes I like I will majority of the time I like being by myself you know drive by myself different things like that go somewhere I pop out by myself but that just means I step on you by myself so what I'm saying is I had to go off and <laughs> but what I'm saying is man it was cool to say Derrick James because it's a bad trainer because Earl Spence lost on the biggest night and a bunch of other people were saying it. So now you have people with you. So it's, it, it was easy to do it. So a couple of the people who I seen doing it was Antonio Tarver. He did it after the fight. Uh, I might be missing some people too. I also seen Virgil Hunter basically was saying like, I told you so or different things like that. What he basically was saying. Um, I heard a few other people um, speak on this thing too, as if not saying that they are horrible trainers themselves, but I just felt like that was the wrong way to go about it. Just because Earl Smith, I mean, Derrick James been reigning as trainer of the year for years. This is 2023 ain't just some he just pop up and now he's the best trainer in box. Bro, he's been doing it at a consistent level for years at a time. I'm talking about like the whole time. Now all of, you been feeling this way, which is envy, jealousy, things like that. You been feeling this way, but you just now want to say something because you got a crowd with you. It's crazy, me man. Disgusting, man. To me, Derrick James still trainer of the year. Lost one fight, bro, and a lot of these people want his spot because not only is he the trainer of the year, he he probably the most paid trainer. Besides Floyd Mayweather Sr., you know, or Roger Mayweather or something when they was training Floyd. Ain't no other trainer been getting, I just got to be honest with you, ain't, no, ain't, ain't nobody been getting the paper. And I ain't saying it's a paper chase and it's all about the paper, but I'm just saying, bro. I'm just stating the obvious. Ain't nobody really been getting no paper like them. Because first of all, Earl Spence was generating the most out of any boxer. Other than what Canelo and now Javante Davis, like nobody else was really been getting no bads like that for real. And, and to be honest, in boxing, it's not really that many people at the top that's making millions and millions of dollars. Let alone trainers making millions of dollars too. So, to me, I think a lot of people would love to have their change spot. They would love to be in a position to be training where everybody wants to come to you where where you 
just got the glory. One thing I noticed about black people, man, I hate to pull the black card or whatever, but it's true, man. One thing about black people, black people hate to see a lot of people looking at one person at, at a high standard. Like they hate to see that for some reason, bro, because everybody want to be the man. And they hate to see one man, like, they, and when that's, they can't wait to your downfall or they can't wait to take you down. And that's how it always is when somebody, a bunch of people looking at you as the man, the guy, you know, everybody got high praise for you. It's, it's a lot of people back, sitting back eating on bananas, like the monkey, they, monkeys they are. They back, sitting back eating their bananas and they like, I don't like that. They don't never say nothing about me. <laughs> With the lip all puffed up. They don't never, they ain't say I was the best trainer when I was training such and such or whatever the case. So, that's what it's about, man. So, I just wanted to do this video because these roaches, scum of the earth people <laughs> was been praying and waiting on this moment, man. I mean, Antonio Tov, I gotta keep saying him cause, cause he was the first person I seen do it. It would be plenty of people, but he was the first person I seen it immediately after the fight. He didn't even walk out the stadium yet. And first thing he said, they talking about he training of the year. I mean, what was that? I ain't seen no footwork, da, 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 da. All these different things. <laughs> he said, if I was training them, that's, that's what they say. If I was the one, if I was in the corner, I wouldn't have let that. It wouldn't have happened. I hate these people, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. Because they just so fake. They so weak, man. They just no courage at all, bro. Just like. But, yeah, man, I just had to do a video about that because... Now, all of a sudden, you never had nothing to say about Derrick James. Like, you should have been saying something, bro. And that's how you felt. You should have been saying it. You can't wait till a man lose and then be like, I told you. Or, 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 or you know, the same thing I told the Terrence Crawford fans who magically came out the cut, who I don't even think they his fans for real, because they was. I mean, them pay-per-view numbers would have been up the whole time, and he would have been at his side over Earl. So these dudes that came out the cut and now want to claim they like they want some kind of glory or whatever for Bud winning. Same thing with them. You should have been on my channel all these months. All these videos I done made, I ain't never seen you. You supposed to be heard the whole time. I've been trying to pull it out of these dudes, trying to because because it, it wasn't gonna do nothing but make the fight bigger. You the Baker and back and forth with the fans or whatever. You know, it wasn't going to do nothing but make the fight big, bigger and bring more attention. So I've been trying to bring it out of these guys the whole time, but they've been scared of me. But now all of a sudden, since everybody can talk, and now they want to talk now. I'm like, no, nah, bro, this ain't how they go. That ain't how they go. You got to you gotta stand on there from the jump. You got to pop it from the beginning like I was. And still going to do That's how you got to do it. That's how you supposed to do it. Don't wait till somebody lose and then be like, imagine if I kept saying, oh man, the fight 50 50. 50 50. It can go either way. Uh, one day I wake up Earl. One day I wake up Bud. And then all of a sudden, Earl or Bud win. See? I told you. He, he, he ain't on his level. His levels. <laughs> what, man? Why you ain't saying that first? Like these dudes, that's the type of move they they they, they be doing, man. They just tell me your household is messed up. Your girl don't respect you because she already know you always flip flopping. So she, you know, that's how she. That's why she always flip flopping to the next dude house, and she be sleeping with him. And that's how it be going, man. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe already. I'm out, man. You dirty. Dogs. I'm out.